Hello, this is the uh, part three tutorial of our three part series for the EdTPA process and getting your uh, teaching event video uh, clips ready for the evaluator. And this third part tutorial will step you through Handbrake, which is compression software that will compress your file size down to a more manageable size for TK20. TK20 has a file size limit of 100 megabytes. Um, which really isn't that large, especially when you're talking about uh, high definition video or video in general. It takes up an, an enormous amount of uh, storage space. So we need to take your uh, video files and compress them down into a manageable size so that TK20 can accept them and that would be less than 100 megabytes. Um, you'll first need to download the appropriate software and then um, will step you through the the few steps it takes to compress the file. So the first step we'll do is to launch your browser so that we can download the uh, compression software that you need. And again, it's called Handbrake. I believe it comes out of France. So up in my URL field, I'm going to type in the URL, which is handbrake.fr. And uh, when we go there, we will uh, be on the main page for Handbrake. Something that's very, very important to understand here is that like any piece of software, it continually goes through upgrades and revisions. And there is this particular feature within Handbrake that we need, and it's no longer available in the new version of Handbrake. It's only available in an older version. So you'll notice a series of tabs that run in the top right corner of the screen, and we want to go to Downloads and so that we can download um, the appropriate version of Handbrake. So on the Downloads page, you'll notice that you can download for Mac and Windows. We are specifically working on the Windows environment here, as well as some other operating systems. But look in the lower left portion of that page, and you will see a link that says Old Releases. And if we click on that, there will be a whole list of the previous releases of Handbrake. And notice that we have uh, Handbrake version 10 here, 9.9, 9.8, and so forth. The specific version that we're looking for, if we scroll down, is Handbrake 0.9.5. And you'll notice that there's many uh, operating system versions here between Mac and Fedora and Windows as well. We're going to want to download the bottom version here, which is Handbrake 0.9.5, Windows with the GUI.exe extension. And you'll notice to the right is the download key. So we're going to click on download and it's going to tell us to save the file. And so if I click on save, uh, it takes a few seconds here. You'll see that in the upper right corner here in the downloads. Okay, it's now fully downloaded and I'm done with this window. So I'm going to go ahead and close it. And I now have an icon on my desktop here for Handbrake 0.9.5. And I'm going to go ahead and double click on that to install it. And I'm going to say yes, I can want to allow it to install and I will step through the installation process here. I agree to the terms, tells me where it's going to uh, install the file, and then I click um, Next, and it takes us there, and we are done. We click on Finished, and Handbrake is now installed. So automatically, Handbrake will open up on the screen, and um, uh, you're ready to go. The first thing that we want to do is uh, in the upper left hand corner we want to click on the source button so that we can open up the file that we've created and if you recall from the previous tutorials uh, we asked you to uh, simply put the video file on your desktop in a folder so it's easy to find. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, locate a file on my desktop and I just, I'll just use an example file that I have here. So I've got a file called my movie. I'm going to hit open and that's going to populate into the source field here. You'll notice that just below that little bit where it says the destination field tells me where the file will go and uh, once we are uh, finished compressing here. So I do want it to go to my desktop so I can find it more easily. If it doesn't automatically populate into the destination field you may find a pop-up window that says your destination default has not been set. And so I'll take you through that process real briefly just in case yours didn't load here. If you go to the Tools menu and select Options, a window will appear for your handbrake options. And there's two things that we can do here. You'll notice that your uh, there's the bottom portion, bottom half of this window, it says Output Files, and you can set your default path. And I would just suggest that you set it to your desktop, or if you uh, originally created your file into a folder on your desktop, you can set it to that folder. Um, so we want to uh, make sure that that is uh, in the appropriate location so we can find it. You can use the Browse button if you need to modify that. 
And then at the bottom, you'll notice that there is a line here that says always use iPod iTunes friendly file extensions. We want to make sure that's unchecked. If by chance it is turned on, on on your system, simply go ahead and uncheck that. So if your destination looks good to you and this uh, always use iPod iTunes friendly file extension is um, unchecked, then you're fine. You can go ahead and close the window. And then the only thing you'll need to do in terms of the compression here is you'll see a series of tabs in the middle of the screen and we want to click on the video tab. And you'll notice that on the right side where it mentions quality here that we have an option at the top that says target size. This target size is not available in the newer versions of Handbrake and this is why we're specifically asking you to download the 0.9.5 version. Uh, is because it does contain this target size parameter and this will allow you to set your target size and we're suggesting that you just type in 80 here we know that TK20 has a file size limit of 100 megabytes but if you set it to 80 then you know you have a little bit of extra wiggle room and you should be fine. Um, if you're using a newer version of Handbrake you're not going to have this target size feature here and in which case you can still constrain the quality down below here you can you know reduce the quality which is doing the compression piece of it but you won't know exactly what size it's getting to so you'll need to do it maybe need to do it several times in order for it to get to less than 100 megabytes so by downloading the previous version the older version here you can specifically tell it to go to 80 megabytes once you've done that you're almost done you can go up to the top menu and select the start button and as soon as I click on start uh, it will begin to compress. Now notice down in the lower left corner of the screen you have a progress bar uh, for your compression. Uh, it's about a one-to-one -one, uh, compression time frame so if you have a 10 minute file it'll take about 10 minutes to compress. My file's not nearly that long, so you'll notice that it's, it's going quite a bit faster. Um, but you can watch the progress bar and you can see that it's going to, uh, how long it's going to take to compress. And once that finishes out, you're all done. Yeah, you should have the new file on your desktop or in the folder on your desktop that you created. And you can now take that compressed file and upload it to TK20. Um, so that's really all there is to the compression and uh, if you want to give that a try and see if you can get your file size down to a lot, uh, less than 100 megabytes, um, you should be in good shape. Thank you.